The one and only Richie Sambora and his amazing guitarist Orianthe stopped by Conway Studios to give us a little love on our jam session. But first, we had to learn the damn song. Okay, we are back. So uh, Adam and I were doing our interview and we ran into Orianthe and Mr. Richie Sambora in the studio and uh, they said, hey, what are you guys doing? And so here's what we're doing. So we flipped the coin and we landed on Heard It Through the Grapevine, and none of us have ever played or sang this song, except Adam, he wrote it. Didn't you write this song? I did write it. You wrote this song for Marvin Gaye. Uh, yeah, I wrote it long years ago, before in the 60s. Before he was born. Yeah, yeah, I wrote it before I was born. <laughs> anyway, he welcome. He was an embryonic stage. Yeah, thing. I was a prolific man. Thanks for coming man. by, Thank or whatever, you. however you got here. <laughs> Thanks for running we into us. Here now. Okay, <laughs> we'll do it like this. Adam's got the teleprompter, I don't, so watch this. Why are you gonna call me out like that, man? <laughs> for the ride over here. Of course. It was incredible. First of all, that car is killing. And second of all, I'm so glad there was traffic. I'm not. I'm a real chicken. Are you, do you like driving like with other people driving? No, you like riding with other people like at 160 you, miles you've, an hour. You've penned classic songs about the speed limit, bro. Driving, though. You should. Sitting in there. Okay, yeah, you know what? That's that a big difference. Big yeah. difference because being up, I, okay, it all came clear now. 
Because <laughs> we're control freaks, because we're singers. Moment of clarity. So Adam, when did you first decide that you were gonna be in music? Like really young or? When I was 10 years old, I remember when I was like eight or nine, I had some piano lessons and I hated it, because. Lessons? Because it's the piano, let's be honest. It's really cool. <laughs> and I think that I envy piano players and I think that it's cool, but yeah. it was something about guitar. The minute I picked up a guitar, um, I remember the first time, because I'm a lefty, so the first time I picked a guitar up before I had actually had my first lesson, I picked it up and it was the wrong way. And the guitar teacher came over and he said, okay, let's flip that around, you're probably a righty. And I learned how to play righty. But since my first guitar lesson, when I was 10 years old, tunnel vision the rest of the way. And what'd, I, what did you want to be? Did you just want to be some musician playing on TV or you wanted to be Sammy Hagar? You wanted to be... <laughs> I did, right. because, well, because look, right, folks, no, and that's not a lie, and that's not just kissing his ass because he's here. <laughs> so let's. Damn it! <laughs> no, I, I, I'll, I'll diffuse all of that. When I was falling in love with music, you were on my TV every day, and mu and, and rock and roll music was like that. That's what it was, because it was like I was I was ten, so you know, 1989 was when I was ten. <laughs> he feel he feels old. Um, but that was all I saw. Doctor. And I'm like, <laughs> you can live forever. Um, so I was in love with, with, with what you guys were doing, what a lot of other bands you know, of that, in that moment were doing. And it was different than it is now. It was in the very, very, very much the only thing that I cared about because it, so, it was so prevalent in the culture and it was like, it was a beautiful time. So, so it's true. I did want to be you when I was 10. Wow. But do, do you enjoy your success? Yes. Yeah. Today, like, of course, because the the voice has elevated you into a superstar thing where people know who you are that don't even care about your music. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, what I mean, it's the true. TV right? Old ladies in the supermarket had a big successful TV show, but has that changed? How's that changed your life? Is it making it more comfortable, harder? Is it a double-edged sword? It's ninety-nine point nine 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 percent the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. Um, but yeah, a little, there's some there's some privacy issues that have been a pain, but. And whatever, I, honestly, if that's what I, if that's the, the price, the small, small price I have to pay, then it's right on. I love you hearing you say that. And I think that the coolest thing about it for me was I figured out that I had actually done something with my life. <laughs> I think when you're a musician and you're playing in a band, you feel like a kid and you feel like you're just messing around. But I thought, oh my God, I actually have like kind of sound advice to give to people. And that was really cool because that made me that much more excited about doing the show and stuff. Well, and all, but also, you know, being on TV so much, actually, you know what the coolest things, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure you can kind of identify somewhat with this, when you're a musician and you go on TV, it's weird, right? Like, I always was never cool. Totally, with you feel uncomfortable. It's like, uh, <laughs> but I was forced to get used to it. I mean, I've been on TV for six years, all these cameras in front of me. This feels strange in no way. Then in the other aspects of my career, like singing and stuff, I'm like, oh, psh, SNL, <laughs> whatever, you know, but before, I'd be like, oh my God, I'm gonna screw it up. And I'd be always nervous. You get, we get scared sometimes. It's okay to, it's okay to admit that. Yeah, I'll, I'm always nervous before I get on the camera. I just for, try to forget about it and try to engage with the person I'm talking to. Because if I start working that camera, it, gets, it makes me a little nervous and I, I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> so, I, like I said, Adam, you can't have any of this yet because, mm. number one, I, I have a little cold, a little sore throat and strep is coming up. <laughs> Singers, uh, no, I, <laughs> I took a sip while you weren't looking. <laughs> I'm, healthy as, I'm as healthy as a, a newborn baby. So Adam, I have this little game that I play with people because I think I know the answers to these questions, but I'm not sure I'm right. And a lot of times they get thrown a curve. Okay. So it's a this or that. It's a dis okay. or dat. You can say dis or dat. Dis or dat. Dis or dat. Okay. Porsche or Ferrari. Ferrari. Singing or playing drums? Playing drums. Married or single? Married. Maroon 5 or The Voice? Maroon 5. Me or Obi-Wan Kenobi? <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi. I figured so, you know, you fucker. Okay. Um, you, you'd say the same thing. Prince or Michael Jackson? Prince, I gotta say Prince. I knew it. See, that was the one that I thought I was gonna fuck with you. One last one. Dancing or guitar playing? Mescal or tequila? Mescal. <laughs> I'll drink to that. <laughs> oh, I've been waiting for this time. <laughs> See how drunk you had to get? See what you think of that. Here's the thing, that one, I know it's, it's a new batch. I haven't any fun yet. <laughs> I can't believe you. You think I would be sitting here drinking fucking mesquila? I was a little worried about you for a second. How, how do you like having your own brand, Adam? Seriously mm. now, on the real side. 
How do you like having your own brand? You like when to walk into a room. Now, don't you feel proud when you got your, yeah. you see a bar and you see your shit behind the counter? Doesn't that make you excited? Be like, that's my, actually, I was at a liquor store the other day. and uh, You sent me the picture. Yeah, there were these kids in there. They were looking for something to buy. And I'm like, you should buy that. And they're like, what's that? And I'm like, it's really good. And then I started telling the whole thing. And I'm like, no, literally, like, you need to get it. It's our stuff. And I'm my buddy, Sammy. And they're like, whoa. And that's what they bought. They loved it. And then they bought it. I'm proud to have you as a partner. Oh, man, Thank you for too. doing this show. And God bless you and uh, your family. And hey, dear friend, Mr. Adam Levine in the house.